Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached or slightly tapped our all-time high for Bitcoin. Incredible stuff. Uh, if we're just going to look at the Caprol index first, we can see last update was March 3rd when we were at 63,000, right? Right now, we are at 66,000, which is pretty incredible. Uh, be sure to like the video as well before we do dive into this super important stuff. You're not going to find this stuff anywhere else, no other channel, so be sure to subscribe as well. Let's jump into this. We can see Bitcoin energy value, which is a new uh, new assortment from uh, from Caprol, and this looks fantastic. Okay, it's just looking at the, the energy going into mining Bitcoin, the blockchain, that kind of stuff, and then using an algorithm to determine the expected price. Okay, we can see here with this, we've got the red price, which is the expected price, the value of Bitcoin based on the energy going into it. Okay, and then we've got the actual price, uh, which is actually accurate here. It's at 69. Six, oh no, we're at 66, right? Uh, but yeah, actual price here is 68.3 and then energy value at 69k. All right. So if we are looking at this, we can say what happens when we get over these uh, expected values? Well, the simple answer is yes, we just go parabolic. We just go up. We go straight to the moon. All right. And we are still under it, okay, despite us being massively parabolic, right, uh, we can see that if we do get over that 78, 80k area, we should expect massive, massive parabolic upswings towards the sky, exponential gains coming through here if this does come into fruition. Uh, one thing I will say in terms of my predictions, guys, I am expecting a bit of a pullback here. We are at the all-time highs, okay, it does make sense, and we can see in the charts as well, guys, uh, that we have had a bit of a pullback so far. Uh, we do have the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band right here and um, we're testing that trying to reclaim it because we did lose it in the last four hour candle okay we're also below the 7 SMA on the four hour which is not a good sign it's, it's a sign that we could potentially be having a pullback or a sign that we could potentially be going si sideways for the next couple of days okay so we can see in the last little pump up we had we lost that 7 SMA we tested that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band and then we went sideways kind of messing around those areas uh, before another run up okay and you can see this time and time again on the chart okay uh, we lose that 7 SMA or we lose it here we retest that 60 minute okay <clears throat> and then we decide whether we're going up sideways or down from that point so we're at a key pivot point here for Bitcoin will it be something where we do just completely recover from here and bang it to the mid 70s or is it going to be something where we have hit this all-time high we should be expecting a rejection and we should be expecting to retest this level that we haven't tested yet which is uh, down at 63.5 okay our most recent local high on a four hour and yeah it is, is also where our price action channel and our 21 EMA is as well okay so definitely an area to be watching for a pullback the momentum has been pretty strong here as my girlfriend calls me at the worst time <laughs> Uh, I'll get her afterwards, okay? Uh, but yeah, uh, we can also see here with the structure, okay, our, our trend line here coming through. We can see one hit here, one hit here, uh, a massive pump once we hit that, and now we are just testing that again. So if we do essentially lose the low we're at right now at uh, 65k, I would be expecting us to come down to around 63, which sounds like a lot. It sounds like a big move, but it's actually, yeah, uh, it's not, not too much, okay? It's about a 3% move, okay, which isn't terrible, okay? It's not terrible, but uh, you got to remember that 1% now is a $660 move, right? It's really important to be gauging Bitcoin in percentages. I've been doing this a very long time, guys six or seven years now and what I will say is if you don't take into account the new one percent depending on the price uh, you can really find yourself in a troublesome situation for example right if we look for a 400 buck move which was one percent at 40k uh, we're only going to get a 0.6 percent um, profit on a short right so yeah, really, really important to do that. Do not uh, ignore that, guys. It's a super important point, okay, for trading. And what we can say here on the longer time frames is we do have this median line at 72K, which should be a, a viable target here before a pullback or before uh, we just retest it and go parabolic like we've done in the past, okay? Uh, so we're looking at this gray line here. Okay, I'm actually just going to get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, and yeah, we'll just get rid of this as well. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And also the hash ribbons. Actually, let's just check out the hash ribbons real quickly. Let's just check this out. Where is this thing? There we go. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we can see that, yeah, I mean, a little bit more of a point towards uh, each other here. Uh, so maybe some compression 
involved. Maybe some sideways action should be expected here, but overall looking pretty healthy. Okay, uh, it seems the miners are a little bit more cautious now. Uh, we can actually go to this other chart that I meant to show you if I show you it here. Okay, we've already seen this one, but this chart being the uh, the electricity consumption going into mining Bitcoin, uh, we can see that that is on a negative slope now. It has been going sideways for quite some time here, but uh, it is looking a little bit more negative uh, to say the least. So what we can say here is, yeah, I mean, we, we, we really need some increase in this very, very soon, or it's quite a bearish sign and we should be expecting a uh, potential pullback here. We can see, uh, yeah, if you can see that, you can see that little that spike downwards here. So yeah, a bit more bearish here, maybe expecting a pullback, but uh, overall, guys, looking pretty good, looking pretty healthy for Bitcoin. Nice, strong parabolic curve coming through here. And you guys know the big Don targets. The big Don targets are around 300K, the top of this linear regressional growth curve, or the rainbow indicator, as some people like to call this. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a mathematical guy. It's a, it's a linear regressional growth curve, okay? It's not a rainbow. It's not a rainbow, guys. <laughs> uh, we can see here, uh, this gray line is what I'm talking about when we do hit this all right around our halvenings okay uh, it is an area where we can find resistance or at least massive oscillation and sideways so uh yeah just be expecting that as we do enter this 70 to 80k area for bitcoin uh, we could just go massively parabolic but uh, unless we get over real really 80k i'm not expecting a massive massive uh, run up here before the halvening i do think uh, we should be expecting a pullback we should be expecting uh, potentially to come down as low as 50k uh, if it does want to break structure here and it would make sense after such a violent aggressive run towards the upside and um, we'll just see if this structure does hold on the four hour this will be our first kind of canary in the coal mine if it does want to come down we can still be saved pretty easily at 63k and i will likely take a long around this area anyway um particularly around the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band is a key area to watch. Okay, and the reason for that, uh, if I am just gonna show you this um, very, very simply, let's just get rid of all of this. Okay, we can see, and again, guys, thank you for liking the video. If you are getting value from this, then feel free to subscribe to the old chan. And uh, yeah, we can carry on from this point. I'll just show you, right? So we've got the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. This is currently half price. Uh, in the description if you are interested you can also get a seven day free trial just cancel the trial before the seven days and you won't be charged and you're all good there but uh, yeah we can see here that when we do hit this uh throughout our run it's, it's definitely an area where we find the bounces an area where we can plot the bottom half of our range very very easily pretty much every pullback has been on this we haven't really lost this uh since like 40k right uh so yeah definitely an area to be to be looking at okay and uh yeah an area which i will be looking for along under these circumstances right so if we do come down and we want to make a wick on a 15 minute or if we come down and then we just reclaim this 15 minute at any point i will be expecting a massive massive wave up if we just draw that in like a five-year-old there we go beautiful stuff uh, we can see that uh yeah if, if we do come down something like this right test that 63k area the moment the exact moment when we get back over there and resurface on a 15 minute guys uh it's going to be a very very aggressive pump towards the upside and uh, there's just so much data to suggest this throughout this run okay uh, even on this one right when we started reclaiming it boom okay we we're back on from that point and it's also just a great area where you could be throwing a few scalps in there uh, again another example here beautiful stuff uh, and yeah remember we are on a four hour right now but uh, it's a lot easier to see this on a 15 minutes okay uh, so if we are looking at this right now you can see all right, so we have lost that 15 minute and we would just be expecting to, uh, to potentially test this uh, the lower 15 minute here, the green line. And you can just see the violent reactions we get around this zone. So uh, yeah, definitely something we do not want to ignore. Definitely a massive edge in the market. And uh, yeah, a little trade update for you guys as well uh, from the copy trader account. Let me just bring this bad boy up real, real quickly. If I can find it, hello. There we go, beautiful stuff. Ooh, beautiful uh, beautiful wick here forming on the 15 minute. Let me just show you what is good here. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we did take a little trade here um, yesterday and we made a pretty decent amount, about uh, 100 bucks, I think it was. Oh no, that was the, that was the trade before. The trade before that was the weekend uh, CME uh, trade, right, which is essentially the easiest edge. I'll teach you guys on that uh, on the webinar of simple five-step strategy. If you are interested, sign up in the description. Okay, very, very easy. Probably the biggest edge in the market right now. So feel free to uh, to do that. We have just made a new webinar for you guys. So feel free to sign up again if you if you 
what are interested in this CME strategy. Super, super easy, guys. Super easy. Uh, and we did make around 100 bucks over the weekend doing that on this $5,000 to 100K challenge. Okay. On my main account, I made a lot more. A lot more. Very, very happy weekend. Okay. And then yesterday's pump, obviously, uh, once we broke the high, uh, was it 67.8 we were looking for? Once we broke this high, we basically rode that up. And we made another 40 or 50 bucks, putting us back on that 10%, recovering from that previous loss. And now we are good to go. Okay. The market is in our hands. Okay. We are ready. We have got this. We're waiting for this next trade. Uh, and I probably won't be shorting just yet. Uh, I, I will be more likely finding a long. Okay. It's very dangerous to be shorting in a massive uptrend but I do just want to conclude here guys by saying we are very very close uh, to to a potential major pullback we're talking about 20 30 percent here uh, in this run so just be very careful out there uh, and in terms of uh, we haven't looked at liquidation yet so we'll check that out before we do end the video but uh in terms of liquidation based on open interest uh, we can see this level down here at 63k put in by our uh, by our um where is this thing Oh yeah, and I also found the CME indicator, which is very, very helpful. Uh, if I do just get rid of all of this, let's do this step by step, guys, as if we are ChatGPT or something like that. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful stuff. So super trend around 63K. Very, very important. Okay. Um, open interest also around 63K. You can see these levels. Okay, super, super interesting and definitely an area I'll be watching for potential liquidations. There's also an area we need to retest. Okay, so fantastic stuff there. Uh, and then CME, uh, this indicator is brilliant. Okay, uh, it's not actually showing on this chart, which isn't great. Where is it? Where's it gone then? Where's it gone then? Uh, is it going to be on a daily? No. Hourly? There we go. Yeah, hourly. Okay, so uh, what you can do with the CME strategy, which I will be explaining on um, Thursday, you can use this indicator, which is super easy. It's free. Okay, it finds the CME price uh, where it closed on the weekend, and then you can just basically trade back to that point uh, once we've got certain conditions met here on these pullbacks or uh, the pumper rumpers as well. Okay, this was me kind of back testing it and just showing you guys how much money you can make here. Yeah, this is better than our other moving average strategy, right? Just how much you can make every weekend looking at this thing it's not going to be a hundred percent of the time okay manage your risk of course but compounding gains like one two three percent over a weekend when everyone's too scared to trade this is money okay this is probably one of the biggest edges i've ever seen in 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 the crypto markets at least so uh yeah definitely something uh, that you want to sign up for feel free to do that in the description and uh from that point yeah i'll be updating you guys um on this strategy anyway uh, and how it does evolve but yeah looking very very good indeed very good indeed okay uh, but yeah main points being 63k is definitely an area we should be looking at for a potential test okay uh the other side here is moving averages before we do head off uh, let's just bring up moving averages on like a daily and just see where we are here okay so 7 sma pretty far away from that where is this landing uh, about 63.8 Okay, interesting, uh, but roughly around 63k anyway. You gotta, you gotta remember here, guys, with that one percent being uh, 660 dollars now, uh, we can basically land anywhere within a 600 dollar range and potentially hit our targets, right? Uh, not perfectly, uh, but you can kind of eye up uh, within a percent here uh, quite easily when we are this volatile. Okay, uh, so potentially a pullback here, and maybe not all the way down to 57k, but definitely a possibility. We haven't retested this line, okay, from our most recent wedge pattern that we were building for months okay for literally months we were building this so a retest of this level at 54k uh, over the longer term does make sense to me so i'll be targeting that if we do get a major crash uh, and then we will be looking for a long from that point where we buy the dip and we make copious amounts of cash coming through here so uh yeah that is going to be it from me have a fantastic day be sure to like the video leave me a comment let me know if you're making money out here in these markets and uh yeah all time high, baby. Let's go. I will see you in the next video. Peace out and goodbye from me, Hamilton. Cheers.